I mean, just, just cooling to me. Like, I just feel like at home when I'm in the gym late night, I've got music playing in the gym all by myself, just working on my game. It's just like, it's like therapy. Like, you know, what type of music do you play? Uh, young boy. I'm a young boy. Broadway. Sure. It's that late night stuff. Late night stuff. I don't know. Yeah. What, what do you think has been the biggest improvement for you uh, since last year? Uh, probably just being my body, probably being more in shape. Um, strength wise, probably got a little stronger from last year. Vertical probably went up a little. Being able to post knives uh, all summer, even before we started lifting sessions. Got here probably early June and started lifting early, so it's been good. There's a lot of wings on this roster, I guess. What have the coaching staff sort of told to the group of wings and maybe you specifically about you know what it's going to be like to battle for playing time and you know, what sort of openings there are? Just come to work every day. Come to work every day. Give all your energy to practice. Give your, your attention to what we're going over in practice. And just give it 100% every day. Play it hard, play it hard. AJ, you look, going back to the offseason, I mean, over 30 teams looked like they were interested in you. You settled down here, you had one visit. Kind of take me through that process, why you ultimately chose Wisconsin, and what the process has been like since you've gotten here. Uh, I chose Wisconsin really because of the culture of the team, uh, the culture of the program. I think they went to 22 straight NCAA process. So being part of something like this is what I want to do. So I want to win at the highest level, so come here. It's a good choice. Talk about the athletic ability. Uh, um, a couple of your teammates saying some of the best they've ever seen. How do you look to try and translate that to the court with this style of play? How's that kind of transition been, and what are you looking to do this uh, this season? Uh, just, you know, choosing the right cuts, choosing the right back doors, getting out on the break. When I see my teammates get rebounds, running out on the break, getting out of transition, just talking to my teammates on the floor. And, Game. Personally, after you know your freshman year, shot the ball pretty well. What are some improvements that you're looking at, you look to make from last offseason to this offseason and throughout the season as well? Uh, just being more vocal on the court, being more of a leader. Um, just really during the summer, worked on a lot of coming off screens, ball handling and stuff, just applying that to the game more. Using my skill set. As a vocal leader, is that kind of hard, you know, coming to the transition as a transfer, as a young transfer as well? Is that kind of hard? And if so, what are some of the difficulties or some of the things you've done well thus far in that range? Uh, I don't think it's that hard. We're all on the same page. Everybody could be leaders on this team. So, all on the same page, all got one goal in mind. So, anything that can get us there. You were at Connors event the other day, uh, the dunk contest. Did, did you did you show everything that you could show, or were you kind of taking it slow on this whole day? Yeah, my coach told me not to do too so much. We had practice the next day, so I did look some like not my whole dunk practice, but yeah. we gonna see that in the game though this yeah, year. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Do you think if you had the full package, you would have won that? Of course. <laughs> One right way of doing something, but obviously the games talk differently at different schools. Well, that's just been the biggest adjustment in terms of learning the way Coach Guard wants to do things versus where you were just last. Uh, you know, just listening to Coach, everything he wants to do. I mean, this is he's the head coach here, so it's buying into the plays, buying into the game style. It's been, it's been pretty good. Uh, they're a little different, probably not as aggressive on defense as far as full court pressing. So it's really only different pressing full court. Coach Dart said he wanted to play faster. Some of your teammates did too. How do you think your athletic ability can help contribute to that and kind of your experience overall back then? Yeah, like I said, just getting out on the transition and probably be a couple of live options on the transition. You know, uh, a lot of three-on-one transition rates can probably score most of the time. So it's me using my speed after this transition. Chucky himself has said that he wants to play a little bit faster and got a little bit harder in the offseason. I guess, you know, what's it been like running the break with him? And have you noticed that he's been pushing it a lot in practice? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Coach is telling us to push it in practice. Uh, so uh, yeah, great pass in the transition. Definitely, I have always, you know, down the court when we're in transition. So, yeah, but definitely kind of pass. Hey, last year, St. John's, your team did not make the NC2As. 
these guys didn't make the NC2As. I mean, they're used to getting that. I'm just curious, in your mind, I assume you that that's something you want to make this year. How important is that to you and to these new, like your new teammates? Yeah, that's all we're talking about, really, in practice, uh, during the hill. We were just thinking we had, like, all the teams lined up um, on the hill. Just, just looking at our opponents and just, yeah, just stick things and just staying focused on the goal, staying in the moment, coming to work every day. What were some of the weight room improvements you looked to make this year, uh, kind of things like that? Where are you looking to weigh at the beginning of the season? Uh, just really, um, Coach Nod really hands on with uh, position wise. So, uh, have everybody do something different from different positions. So, uh, yeah. Talking about you know you as a ball handler, it seems like on this team there are a lot of wings that can dribble the ball. Where can you contribute in that range, and do you anticipate some roles where you might you know be the one taking the ball at the court or initiating the offense in that way? Yeah, I'm comfortable on the lane, comfortable with the ball. So either one works. So great catch and shoot shooter. Also can shoot off the dribble, so either works.